Ladies and gentlemen, American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show. Well, today, Cohen gets back on the stand for some cross-examination. And by the way, did you ever see what this uh, lawyer, Robert Costello, who testified at Congress said? He said he kept asking him over and over again, you got anything on Trump? You got anything on Trump? No, no, no. By the way, another thing about Cohen, people's lost sight, is he's been one giant breach of attorney-client privilege. I mean, off the charts. Trump ought to sue him, but of course he doesn't have anything. Two debates are going to come up. CNN, June 17th, September 10th. Trump wants two more. I want to tell you about these debates. First off, they're going to be controlled debates. Uh, Trump just accepted the terms of Biden. No live audience or anything like that. So they're going to be taped. But uh, I got to ask you all a question. Who needs to see a debate to not have already reached a conclusion about these two men? Not me. Who, who needs to see a debate? I mean, usually I want to see a debate. I have no interest in this debate. This debate will be meaningless. It really will. Trump will destroy him in the debate, but that doesn't change my opinion of Joe Biden. I've already got a low opinion of him. Mitt's advice to uh, Biden, he said he would have pardoned Trump right out of the gate. Would have been a good political move. Judge Mershon's apparently upset with all these surrogates coming in and yapping, yapping, yapping. Too bad. Senator Menendez, opening statements, blaming the wife. The wife took the bribes. Now you got to ask yourself this question. What power did the wife have to take a bribe to get something done but for her husband? You get my drift here? In other words, why would anybody pay the wife a bribe? What the hell can she do? Her husband can do something. Blinken, rocking out and Kiev. Bad look, you know? Serious business we're doing here. Going over, I act like he's a rock and roller, wants to be a rock star. No, you're the Secretary of State and you suck at it. All right, Trump's going to speak at the National NRA Convention. Slovakia's prime minister captured on... Uh, Video, assassination attempt. I mean, this guy's up on the rail, boom, boom, boom. You know how the, those Secret Service agents are always like this? Well, they missed that guy. All captured on video. Capitol Police found some cocaine in their midst. Well, you know what I say to that? It's a police station. Chances are there's going to be some cocaine around. Hunter Biden, apparently his sugar brother, Kevin Morris, is running out of cash. Picture on the left there. So, I don't know. He's going to run out of money. Hunter, what'd you do with all that Chinese and Ukrainian, Romanian, and all those other countries' money? This is a bulldog. Do not be a frothy, feeble ruffian. Shakespeare insult of the day. Be an oracle. Ladies and gentlemen, American Jury Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's local news. Well, the big local news yesterday was Trump's in town. Trump was up at a big Indian Hill event. No, I did not go. I uh, got too many things to do. Hostess of 50,000 was Peggy Gardner John. She's part of the Farmer Sintas family. Showed a big picture of her mansion. Uh, the people that were there apparently include, this, this always cracks me up, included uh, the Lindners, uh, Bortz, uh, folks like that, I want to tell you something that cracks me up about how the, how it works with the wealthy folks and, and the, the filthy rich. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about people that are rich. I'm talking about people like this. Is um, They re-ante up. The lenders were all Bushites. Okay? But these folks, knowing who's going to win, all ante up. It's a good thing for Trump. It's a good thing for Trump. But I have to admit, I hate the look. Being, being a guy who fights for the little guy every day, I just, the billionaire scene, I mean, it just seems so billionaire if you know what I mean. All right. Then after that, he went down to Lexington, where there was apparently a fundraiser at Kelly Kraft's place. By the way, she holds a grudge. The Kraft's blame me for her losing the governor's race based upon the KET debate. Too bad. I tried to make up. Didn't work. Bottom line is, is we don't know how much money they made there, but I guarantee you, I bet you they made more money at... Indian Hill. J.D. Vance, by the way, was with him. Then we have Sherrod Brown. You ready for Sherrod Brown? Sherrod Brown got all, he's in a tough position because he got all tied into Joe Biden. 
Now he's trying to run from Joe Biden, but prior comments make it difficult for him to run to Joe Biden. Folks, Biden is doing so bad, it's going to hurt down tickets. Now, they said there was like four Democratic senators running ahead of Biden and so forth and so on. What I hate about what's going on in Ohio, I mean, I hate it, and you got Marino running against Brown, is I want to see the Democratic Supreme Court judges win. But what's going on with Biden being so bad, it's going to be tough. Well, the Cincinnati Public School Superintendent resigned. She's gone. Uh, I ran a right. So now they start a committee, according to Chairman Eve Bolton. All right. The Kentucky primary voting begins today uh, in the hot race, as we all know, little TJ running against Ed Massey. God darn it. How can you guys ever, ever vote for him? And lots of other local races. You know what they are. I'm not going to just regurgitate them all here. And remember, I'm on the ballot against Thomas Massey. All right. Missing Northern Kentucky state lawyers found. Accused of stealing $26,000. But I understand there's going to be more coming. Uh, Stealing from the states. Not good. Also, uh, Campbell County Republican Party voted to censor Mitch McConnell. You know what? I'm all for censoring Mitch McConnell. But the bottom line is, this is kind of like meaningless. Daughter, uh, too late, too short. He ain't going to run again. So censoring him ain't going to make any difference. Shocking news yesterday. P.G. Sittenfeld has been released from prison pending uh, the decision from the Sixth Circuit based upon the fact that it's a close call. My guess is, folks, the fact that they let him out, P.J.'s probably going to win his appeal. Unbelievable. Uh, Kentucky representative disqualified. Uh, Re- Louisville Democrat member Nimi Kolkarni was disqualified. She had somebody sign that wasn't a Republican. By the way, just so you know, and I've already reported this, Thomas Massey was not disqualified on my lawsuit against him. All right, and a suspended Cincinnati police officer pled guilty by using evidence. His name was Lutz, Timothy Lutz. He, he basically tried to get some information and contact information of a 19-year-old woman. Why? Who knows? This is a bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Hello again, this is Jamie Spinley with Eric Dieter's World News, the latest headlines. In South Devon, England, 22 cases of diarrhea-like illness has emerged, prompting authorities to advise boiling tap water. The UK Health Security Agency links the cases to Cryptosopodium, a waterborne parasite. Slovakia's Prime Minister Robert Fico has undergone surgery following an assassination attempt last night. He was shot after a government meeting in Hanlover. It is believed he is now doing well and in stable condition. In other news, clashes between the rival cartels of Chipas, Mexico, has claimed 11 lives, including two nuns and a teenager. The Sinolo cartel and the Alisco New Generation cartel are in conflicts over the region. And in Sofengen, Switzerland, a man welding our knife injured multiple people before being apprehended by police. Several victims are hospitalized. That's the latest deadlines. Until tomorrow, cheerio. Ladies and gentlemen, American Jerry Bulldog Nation, welcome to Sports Without Boundary. Reds won, Diamondbacks two. They've lost two straight series. And guess what the boogie prize is? They're now going to play the Dodgers. The best team in the, in, the, in the National League. Mavs 104, Thunder 92. Unbelievable. The Thunder won the first two. Uh, Mavs three straight. Avalanche three, excuse me, Avalanche five, Stars three. Stars are up three games to two. Celtics 113, Cavs 98. Series is over. Bengals schedule came out. Uh, they open against uh, New England at home. Then they go to Kansas City. Host Washington at Carolina. Not too bad getting going. I think the biggest is Monday night football, December 9th uh, at the Dallas Cowboys. I'm going to go to that game in Dallas. Harrison Butker, great speech that he gave at a Catholic college. Apparently there's 70,000 signatures to kick him out of the NFL. And the NFL's weighed in and say, we don't agree with all these things. You hang in there, Harrison Butker. Lodolo, our best pitcher. 
out, disabled list. And the Raiders owner, he probably 70, 80 years old, just got his 26-year-old girlfriend pregnant. Nice job, Davis. Nothing but the Raiders. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, American Turn Bulldog Nation. Welcome to Eric Dieter's Pop Culture. The Mirage. Have you ever stayed at the Mirage? I've stayed at the Mirage once. It's a very nice hotel. First time I ever went to Vegas, I stayed at the Mirage. It is now closing down after 35 years. Ben Affleck and J-Lo, there's rumors he's moved out. Might be separated. He doesn't like the spotlight. She loves the spotlight. Oh, well, second go around. Maybe they'll reunite 20 years from now and make it the third time. And Mr. Stormy Daniels, her husband, says that if Trump's not convicted, they'll probably move out of the country. Well, you go ahead and move out of the country, Mr. Stormy Daniels. What are these people say, I'm going to move out of the country if? It cracks me up. Can you imagine being married to that skank? Yeah. Hey, maybe he's into porn too. Maybe they're a porn couple. Dynamic porn couple. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.